What's going on, man? It's your big bro trend. You tuned in once again to another exclusive video. What I'm about to tell you in this video, you probably already been thinking this, but I'm just about to confirm it to you because I just want to let you know you're not crazy. It's not you. I'm about to tell you what the mark of the beast is in this video. But first and foremost, man, be mindful. There are spammers and scammers in my comment section trying to get y'all to WhatsApp them, trying to telegram them, send, send them some money, invest in. That's not me, folks. Those are spammers. Come on, you gotta be smart. Again, the mark of the beast. We about to talk about the mark of the beast. It's your big bro trend. Hey, at the end of this video, I got something very special for you. Don't forget to subscribe to your big bro. Also, if what I'm about to tell you resonates with you and you, you feel what I'm saying, or you got your own opinion on it, don't forget to leave this video without leaving your opinion on what I'm about to tell you in this video, man. The mark of the beast, y'all. The mark of the beast. No, you know, when people think about the mark of the beast, they think about 666. They think about barcodes and computer chips and stuff like that. Now, man, it ain't that simple, man. It ain't that simple, bro. It ain't that simple. It's actually in plain sight. It's actually in plain sight. You know what the mark of the beast is, if you ask me, in my opinion? It's your cell phone, bro. <laughs> it's, the, it's the cell phone, bro. I mean, literally, bro, think about it. You holding the biggest computer chip in your hand right now. You holding the biggest, you holding the biggest computer chip in your hand right now, and it's your cell phone. If you ask me, that's the mark of the beast. Bro, listen. This this girl booked a session with me yesterday because she don't got no friends. And look, she do OnlyFans. She was like, yo, I do OnlyFans, big bro. But I'm going to be honest with you, man. I don't got no friends, man. She said, it seemed like every time I try to go out and try to be open-minded and try to just, you know, connect with people. She said, she was like, it seemed like everybody be in their headphones. Everybody be having on headphones at the gym. You know, everybody be talk talking on their phones. And it's, she like, damn, I can't even connect with nobody because everybody be on their phones. Listen, folks, I told you I can't make this shit up, bro. Man, listen, yo, think about, I'm about to tell you all the damn bad things about your cell phone and why I believe this shit is the mark of the beast, bro. Listen, man, cell phones have broken up families. Your family don't even talk to you like they used to no more, do they? Nope. You know why? Because all they got to do is send you a message on Facebook. That's all they got to do. All they got to do is say hey to you on text messages. They don't ever talk to you again for two or three weeks. And then when you be like, yo, cuz, yo, yo, where you been at, man? Or, or yo, sis, where you been at? Well, I text you two weeks ago. What is a text? Bro, families don't even connect like they used to no more because of these cell phones. They don't even, your family don't even do shit in real life no more. Everything is virtual. Everything has become digitized. Cell phones have broken up relationships. It's people that's watching this video right now. And I know your, I know your relationship was messed up. One of your relationships was messed up because of your damn cell phone. Relation, people don't want to get in relationships no more because of these cell phones. You can lose your job over your cell phone. All your, all your job got to do is just go to your profile picture and see something you posted and be like, you fired. Damn, what I do? That's my personal page. That's my personal shit. See what they did to Kyrie? I guarantee you that tweet that he tweeted about a book, I guarantee you that shit just came from his cell phone. Man, cell phone is the mark of the beast, bro. It's the mark of the beast. You know what I mean? People don't got to think no more. You probably be like, yo, why people acting so dumb down? Like, why can't you talk about deep shit around people no more? You can't even like get a real discussion about nothing, nothing of substance no more. Why? Because people don't got to think no more. They don't, they don't have to think no more. They don't have to use their brain no more. And that's what they want y'all to do. Only thing they got to do is get on their cell phone and just go to Google. Google, what does this mean? Google, what does that mean? They don't have to think no more. Google is the brain, bro. Google is the library, bro. <laughs> I about to wake up, bro. Google is the library. You know what I'm saying? That's why people so dumb nowadays, bro, because they they use they they live their life on their cell phone. Everything that they know comes from in information that they search up about you on your cell phone. You know what I mean? People don't gotta, people don't gotta, they don't gotta get to know you no more to try to 
Let me see who I'm dealing with. Let me get to know her. Let me get to know him. Let me see. Let me actually talk. To they don't got to do that no more. They just look at your profiles and whatever your profiles display about you, whatever people been commenting about you, they just look at that information and then they come to an assumption in their head about who they think you is. And they don't even got to really get to know you like that. And you be like, damn, this you don't even really know me like that. How you already fronting on me? You don't even know me like that. Because she went to all your social media platforms. She seen how many followers you got. She reading your comments and see all the chicks and, and whoever is trying to holler at you. She see all the pictures that you post and see where you go. She can, she can determine how much money you have. And it's all imagination lies. It got people living in their imagination, bro. That's why you don't have no friends like that, bro. Because everybody living their life on the computer, bro. People don't even want to talk to nobody no more. You ever been around? You ever been outside and you just been around people? And you just be open, like you just ready to have a conversation with people. Like, yo, what's up? You know, woo -woo -woo, like, what you doing today? You look good. You, you. They don't even want to talk. They be like, hey, 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 hey. Sorry, sorry. Excuse me. Excuse me. Sorry, sorry, sorry. What you saying? Sorry for? I ain't even do nothing. You, you, you. Sorry. I'm sorry, bro. Because they. Most people scared to be real nowadays and live like a real person. Why? Because like I said, they live their life on the damn computer, on the phone. You feel me? It's just too much instant gratification, man. It's too much. People can just run to their cell phones if you don't treat them right. Or if they feel like, if they feel like you don't treat them the way that you want them to, that, that they want to be treated. If they feel like they, they don't, you not treating them right. It could be anything, bro. It could be anything. It could be the way you walk. It could be the way you look at them. It could be the. It could be anything. It could be what you what you bought them. Anything, anything that they feel they need to get mad about real quick, they'll run to their cell phone, bro, and get that instant gratification, and just be like, "Fuck you." I don't even like you no more. I'm gonna block you. Boom. I'm blocking you. Why? Why are people quick to block people and shit nowadays? Because they got the instant gratification of a cell phone that will provide you with an all-time high of all your desires. The mark of the beast, bro. Porn, everything. You can watch free porn all over the internet. Anything you want, you can get it off your cell phone. And like I said, that's what's causing people not to want to be in a relationship with you no more. Why? Because they can easily just go watch porn. Then when they get that thrill, when they get that gratification, they good. They walk outside like they got it going on and shit. Like, yeah, everybody like me. Everybody like me. No, you don't. No, they don't. You got instant gratification in your hand. It's crazy, man. People becoming sensitive, bro. Just, it makes people sensitive. Like, if as long as you, you ever lost your cell phone and just been like you've been looking for that shit all day bro like you don't give a damn what you got going on you will call out of work just to find that phone bro it's like your heart come out your stomach when you lose your phone be like i don't like nobody right now just don't talk to me don't say nothing until i find myself or i'm not nobody's friend no more don't say nothing don't let nobody steal your cell phone. You gonna call that shit, you gonna get it blocked real quick. Hey, turn my cell phone out right now. You know why, bro? Because, bro, it's like the mark of the beast, bro. It's like instant gratification, bro. It's like something has been, it's like something has been taken away from you. You know what I'm saying? Something has been taken away from you. You just, you know, you just like, bro, I can't live without this. This is my all, this is my everything. You know, this is my baby right here. I gotta have my phone. This is my baby. I, f I can't make this up, right? I can't make this up, bro. Think about, think about like when, think about like when you sitting around somebody, right? Or actually put it like this. If you let somebody use your cell phone, right? You know what I mean? But you don't really want them to use it. But they be like, can I use your phone? What's the first thing you think about when somebody say, can I use your phone? You be like, man, you, you ain't about to go through my shit now. All right, that's a little long. You've been on that too long. I right, give it back. Give it back. Give it back now. You be calculating how much time they hold your cell phone. Right, shit, that's one minute now. That's one minute. How many phone calls you got to make now? You done made one phone call. Right, because, bro, it's instant gratification, bro. You don't want your privacy to be, you don't want your privacy to be exposed. Or whatever you're doing, you don't want it to be exposed because it's all in your cell phone. And guess what? And if it's all in your cell phone, they got it. <laughs> Who is they? I don't know. 
but they got y'all all your information all your passwords they got it all your history and all the sites and shit you done been through they got it bro they know exactly what you done been through they know what you like it's all in your cell phone you got people on cell phones see all of a sudden people can be a gangster now they can be an internet troll they can be an internet troll. People get on comments and you ain't this and you ain't that and you ain't this. You gonna get you that. Bro, you is behind the computer, bro. Calm down. Now you got trolls. You got internet gangsters and shit. They, people think they really about that life. Why? Because they behind a computer screen and nobody can see their face. They can make a fake profile and look at your life and they don't even have a face on their profile. I'm telling you, bro, it's the cell phone, bro. It's the cell phone. You know what I'm saying? People live in fake lives. People live in a fake life on their cell phone. People, bro, you can get on Instagram and create a page and make yourself look like a celebrity. All you got to do is take some nice, beautiful pictures around some nice, exotic cars. Have some hot guys with you or something in the background with business suits on. Have some money. Then all of a sudden, when somebody look at your Instagram page, they automatically assume that you got all your shit together bro it's all fake bro it's all fake bro it's just like fake news bro people trying to paint their picture real good on they off their phone using their social media accounts trying to make their life look like it's all good like but really in all actuality bro they they ain't gotta think that things ain't all sweet things is not all sweet like they making it to be that's why I'm saying, bro, be careful. Be careful who who y'all assume got their shit together or their life together or whatever on these social media sites. They be flexing, bro. It's the cell phone. You got all kind of apps nowadays that can put filters. All these girls got all these filters. Half of these girls don't even look that beautiful. Like they make themselves. But see, they got all these filters and shit. They can make your body you know, more proportional and they can make your skin look more clear. And then when you invite her ass over or something, she be looking like a damn fucking damn grasshopper. You be like, damn, I thought you looked like the pictures. Look like a damn scarecrow. It's all fake, bro. It's a facade. It's a front. It's these cell phones, man. A cell phone. And like I say, bro, they got all your passwords. You don't think nobody can't get in your damn... You don't think nobody can't really hack your account, right? Bro, they hacked my shit. They hacked my shit like two weeks ago. Both, all three of my accounts. Because they can get in your... They can get in your pass. They can get in your cell phone. You got to have a VPN nowadays if you got a cell phone. You got to have a VPN. Very private network. You know what I'm saying? Because otherwise, bro, you ain't hiding nothing on your cell phone. You know what I'm saying? Me personally, me personally, bro. That's why I don't learn. I don't learn what what was going on. I don't even be on my cell phone like that no more. Nine times out of ten, my my cell phone in moon mode right now. I keep my cell phone in moon mode because I already know it'll get you addicted to it. It'll get you addicted and get your mind. It'll make you lose touch of reality, bro. To where you don't even want to come out to the lake no more. You don't even want to go to a park. You'd be like, what is a park? You're like, I don't even want to go to a park no more. I don't even want to go swimming no more. You don't want to go swimming? I don't even want to ride bikes no more. I don't even want to go uh, hiking and adventures on a trail no more. Why you don't want to go to a trail no more? Because all I got to do is go to the, all I got to do is just go on my cell phone and go straight to the trail. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Ain't no more there is no more fun bro it's, it's not fun it's not fun anymore it's not fun it's not any more fun because this is all people doing on their cell phones all day long all day long on their cell phones bro it's sad man it's sad like i said family don't even know how to be family no more your brothers don't even know how to be your brothers no more Nobody really supports you no more. Nobody even acknowledging you no more. Nobody got to call you no more. They don't even got to chime in and see what you're doing no more. Why? 
because all they got to do is all they got to do is go to your pages and, and watch what you did for the past week. And that's going to determine whether or not they want to be your friend or not. Crazy, ain't it? That's going to determine whether or not they like you or not. If they look at your pictures. They see where you traveling to. They say, oh, he ain't he ain't went nowhere far. I've been there before. It's not the point, dummy. All right, look, my, 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 one of my friend girls hit me up the other day. She was like, Trent, don't you know my people back at home called me and asked me for some money? I say, why, sis? She was like, because you remember that day we was hanging out and I bought them sunglasses, them exclusive sunglasses? I was like, yeah, yeah. She was like, bro, don't you know them sunglasses that I took a picture of? That made them think I had money. And so they called me and asked me for money because they, they said I had on some nice sunglasses. People is brainwashed, y'all. Niggas is brainwashed, bruh. Nowadays, it ain't just black people that, that can be a, a, a nigga trying. It ain't just black people that can be a nigga trying no more. It could be anybody. Ignorance is bliss, man. It could be anybody. I try not to even really text no more. I don't got out of that shit. I don't even text no more, bruh. You can't even text. You can't even text people no more, cause they don't know how to write. I mean, people are literally becoming illiterate. They can't text. You ever been? You ever been talking to somebody on a text, and you just trying to have a casual conversation, and then the next day it'll be like, "What does that mean? And what you trying to say? I think I'm gonna stop this conversation. Have a good day. Why?" Because they done miscommunicated something that you was trying to text to them because you wasn't talking to them on the phone verbally and they couldn't understand how you really said it. So they got in their feelings and got all sensitive and shit and then tried to block you and shit. And they ain't even never talked to you verbally about the shit they got a problem with you about. They ignorant, bro. People are dumbed down. Some bots. So now I done got into a habit. Me personally, now I done got into a habit. Every time I meet somebody, I don't even know start texting them, bro. I just call people now, like back in the days. I call people, bro. You want to have a conversation with me? Call me. Don't be texting me because I know you can't write. People don't even use quotations no more. I ain't, you don't even get quotation marks in no text messages. You don't get periods. You don't get commas. You don't get question marks. People just expect you to just know how they feel. The punctuation makes you understand what the fucking feeling is in the text message. You Decepticon? People don't do that no more. It's just more like, it's okay, LOL, OMG, ASL, ROFL, LMAO, LMBO. It's like people dumb down. They like robots, bro. Cell phones. LOL. What the fuck is LOL? LOL. Now it's even worse. Look, emojis. <laughs> People be fronting on you with emojis now when they hate, when they got something against you. <laughs> you did you think you all that <laughs> laughing emoji laugh. You know they trying to throw shade on you when they sending them emojis. They just be trying to throw shade on you when they sending the people don't people don't got turned into bots so much. They trying to throw shade with emojis now. Peace time. Peace. Bye. Have a good day. Peace. Bitch, shut up. You slow. I don't even text no more, bro. I say, look, I put my phone on Moomo. If you want to call me, call me. I talk. I like to have a conversation like that. If I if I want to talk to you, I'll call you most of the time. Don't be sending me no chain messages. People don't got turned into bots, bro, with these cell phones. Now they sending chain messages. And I want to say thank you. And you mean this to me. And, and one day, you know, the Lord said we was going to be together. But not just right now. You know, I just want to make sure that this is something that is going to be all right with me. And I really kind of like the way you do things. But I just want to let you know I'm not trying to go off in on you or nothing like that. But yesterday what you said to me was really bad. And I really don't like it. And I really wish we could come together. Question mark. Do you think so? Question mark. If so. So please respond back to this message. I'm not reading all that shit. Then here come another one. Ding, 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 ding. I'm not reading all that. Just call me. Call me, man. Stop, stop writing. You can't even write. People be, they be writing sentences. Every word is a capital letter in the, in the first letter. 
That's not proper English. They can't write, y'all. I'm telling you, bro, these cell phones, bro. It's the cell phones. Listen, this is my solution. If you want to be different from these Decepticons and you want to have a little bit more friends, if you got zero like big bro. Bro, put your cell phone down for at least three hours of the day. Let it go. Do something, do something recreational, man. Go outside and throw some rocks or something. Go cook a meal, man. Put that cell phone down. Put that shit on the charger. Let it charge, bro. Put it. Put your cell phone down for at least three hours of the day, man. Take your mind off of that digital, virtual shit, man. It's brainwashing you. It, it seemed like every, it seemed like every girl I come in contact with, and I look at her, and I get a glance at her cell phone. Her phone always dead. Yo, fellas, you ever notice that shit? Most of these girls' cell phones, when they hang out with you on a date and y'all go out, you go buy her a drink and you get a little glance of her cell phone, ain't it always on 10%? Because she be on that shit 24 hours of the day. She don't even know how to think for herself, bro. You ain't, chances is slim, bro. Chances is slim nowadays that you even meet a girl, her phone battery is at 90%. That shit always dead. You know why? Because she lives her life on the computer. And she knows it. She's looking at everybody else's business comparing herself. Bots. Some bots. They brainwashed. She compared herself to her friend because her friend took a picture with a filter on it. Now she hating her friend. She jealous of her friend now because her friend is taking filter filterized pictures and her friend is making herself appear like her life is better than hers and she don't like her no more. Now they ain't talking. Now they fussing and, and bickering and gossiping about her because she just took a picture. Some bots, some Decepticons. So again, man, get like me. Put your cell phone down sometime. Look, I made YouTube videos. I still don't even be on my cell phone like y'all do. That's why you try to call me most of the time and I do not answer it. You know why I don't answer my cell phone all the time? Because I don't want to be programmed, bro. I know how much power this shit got. And they keep coming out with more and more and more. Why you think they keep coming out with another iPhone every week? iPhone 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. You can make a damn song off of that. 14 versions of the same damn phone. They don't, and see, y'all go out there and buy it. They don't do nothing but rotate the cameras in the back, make that one diagonal this time. Then they're going to make another one crisscross. It got three on it, like a letter L. Then they're going to change the letter L up, and then they'll make a whole circle with cameras. You're going to go buy that. Then they're going to stop making a, a camera on the back. They're going to put five cameras on the front. Like, damn. How many cameras do you need to take one picture? Cell phones, bro. Then you gotta have fingerprint scan now. You gotta scan your fingerprint. The cell phone got your fingerprint when you lock your phone. It know your whole biometrical facial expression. You gotta get your Instagram back, don't you? Oh, turn your head to the left. Turn your head to the right. They got your whole face. Huh? Man, put your cell phone down, man. Get back into the world. Get back into nature, man, out here. Get back into the sunlight, man. You know what I'm saying? I be, look, I ride my beach cruiser. See, y'all be driving the cars and shit. You ain't even in shape. I be in nature with the birds, with the trees, with the ducks, with the animals, the squirrels. Yeah, sun gazing. That's right, sun gazing. See, y'all can't do that because like I said, y'all live y'all life on the phone. I don't live my life on the phone. I just make dope ass videos like this one right here on my phone. It's your big bro trend, man. Don't leave this video without leaving a comment below and let me know what you think about this, man. Is the cell phone the mark of the beast or what? Because if that's the case, everybody got it. Huh? Speak up, let your voice be heard below. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think about this video. Give it a thumbs up if you completely agree with what your big bro just said or you have experienced something that I just mentioned in this video. All right? Other than that, listen, y'all, listen. 
Listen, y'all know I already got the information. The lost knowledge for the star seeds and the chosen ones. I got it below in the comment section. If you want to purchase that, boy, I got the most powerful information. I'm talking about energy and everything in that. Secret information, 10 whole vaults full of information such as what I just talked about in this video. You better go get it before I take it down. It's at the bottom in the comment section. Just click it. It's going to say lost information for the star seeds and your chosen ones. If you're a star seed or you're a chosen one, you got to have that information, man. Also, if you want to book a session with me, you know what I'm saying? Book a session with me. I'm willing to talk to my brothers and my sisters out there, my chosen ones. Don't be scared. Holler at me, man. It's your big bro trend. I'm about to get back in here, out here in nation, give me some exercise and get my blood circulating, bro. And I'm about to cut off my cell phone. Peace.